Hello, welcome to today's yoga session. We're going to be focusing on a strong dynamic practice for power and balance. So let's get right into it. Please come into your comfortable seat, sitting with the spine nice and tall. Bring the first finger and thumb together and relax the hands and the legs. Tilt the pelvis forward just a little bit, finding that natural curve in the lower back to support the seat. Let's close our eyes. Make the conscious decision to be fully present, fully engaged. Let's begin to relax the body and mind, taking a nice deep breath in through the nose, filling the belly into the chest and all the way to the top of the head, then opening the mouth and sighing out the exhalation with sound. Let's do that two more times. When you're ready, full body inhale, fill everything with breath and energy. And as you exhale, let everything soften and relax. One more time, deep, full body inhale, expand the body with the breath. When you're ready, exhale, let it all go. All right, now let's bring the hands together in front of the heart. Pass with three unifying ohms, sending this healing vibration into the body and mind and into the world around us. Remember, half of the exhalation is O oh, and the second half of the exhalation is M. Mm. Feel that nice vibration massaging the brain. Let's take a deep breath in. Taking a moment to set your personal intention for this class. We begin to connect to the full yogic breath, placing the left hand on the navel and the right hand on the center of the chest. As we inhale deeply through the nose, first we fill the belly like a balloon, then into the chest, and all the way to the top of the head with each full breath in. As we exhale through the nose, we allow that breath and energy to descend down and we finish the exhalation with the belly moving to the spine to empty the lungs completely and gently. So find your own rhythm, find your breath and allow this breath to guide your entire practice. The breath is the heart of our practice every day. As you breathe deep, we bring in the ujjayi pranayama in the throat very lightly closing the throat just a little bit. And as we inhale, feel that we are breathing in through the front of the throat, creating a nice soft sound. And as we exhale, feeling that we're breathing out through the front of the throat, listening to the sound of the breath to calm the mind and guide the practice. Now let's stay connected to this deep rhythmic breath through the whole practice as we open our eyes and begin the physical practice. Coming onto the hands and knees. Let's bring the hands all the way to the very top of the mat. Spread the fingers wide, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. We'll tuck the toes under the feet, connecting to that deep rhythmic breath flowing through the throat. Let's bring the knees off the floor, and as we exhale, press back, arch the spine, chin towards the chest. And as we inhale, roll the spine up like a wave, shoulders in front of the wrists or just over the wrists. Then exhale, bend the knees, keeping the knees off the floor, arching the spine, chin towards the chest. And inhale, roll the spine up to long and exhale, keeping the knees off the floor. Hips back, chin to the chest, a few more rounds. Inhale, press the hips high, waving up through the spine, exhaling back. Good, last three, inhale, lift, wave through the spine, and exhale, keeping the knees off the floor, press back, 
Chin to the chest, last two. Inhale, long. And exhale, back. One more time. Inhale, up. Waving through the spine. Exhaling back. And from here, we press the heels down one at a time, coming in to the bicycle movement of the heels, connecting to that deep rhythmic breath. Same length of inhalation, same length of exhalation. Now let's inhale forward to the plank. Keep the toes under the feet, hip width apart. And as we exhale, slide the hips down without touching the mat with the knees or the hips. Shoulders back, lifting the chest and chin. We'll go through a flowing movement here. Deep inhale. Exhale, down dog, touch the chin to the chest, press the heels towards the floor. Then flowing back, inhale, upward facing dog, keeping the knees and hips off the floor. Exhaling, downward facing dog, touching the chin to the chest to activate the throat lock. Inhaling forward. Now let's close our eyes and find your own rhythm. Let your breath guide your practice and your movements. Throughout the practice, our intention is to unite all of our movements with our breath, with the focus of the mind. So we're continuing to warm up the spine here, the biggest channel of energy in the body. Getting the arms warm, working through the legs. Take your time. Any movements you like now, just staying with that breath as you flow forward and back. Yeah. And one more round here. Exhaling back to downward facing dog. Let's turn the gaze forward, inhale. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, step the right and left foot forward, hip width apart, lifting the chest halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Now let's bend the knees deep. Let the chest touch the top of the thighs as we clasp the elbows and starting with some gentle swaying side to side to release the lower back. The deeper we breathe, the more energy we bring into the body and mind. So let's stay connected to that breath. Any movements you like here, you can move the head a little bit, releasing in the neck. It's your body, time to listen to what the body needs. Coming back to the center in the forward fold. Let's inhale the hands behind the back and exhale release. Now as we inhale, lift the knees, lift the chest, legs straight, and through the mouth. We exhale, bend the knees, hands forward. Three more times. Inhale, straighten the legs, lift the chest. Exhale through the mouth, bend the knees, hands forward. Last two. Inhale, long. Exhale, release. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. And we stay in the forward fold here and we straighten the legs. Bending the right knee, straighten the left leg, bring the hands to the right. Staying with the breath. Feel that nice stretch in the back of the left leg. Then opposite side, straightening the right leg, bending the left knee, hands to the left. Yeah, one more time to each side. Straighten the left leg, bend the right knee, hands to the right. And one more time. Straighten the right leg, bend the left knee, hands to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, release, bend the knees, hands next to the feet, chin to the chest. Inhale, rolling the spine up to standing, arms to the sides and up overhead. Clasp the fingers together, press the palms up and back, touching the chin down to the chest. Bring the feet together, ankles together. Chin is on the chest, looking down, arms reaching up and back. As we inhale, press the heels up as high as you can. The eyes are steady yet soft, the breath is flowing. And we start with the balancing pose to bring the focus to the mind. Deep rhythmic breath. Follow every exhalation to the end. Then you get a deep inhale. Let's take a deep inhale together. And as we exhale, bend the knees, fingertips sweep the floor. Inhale, arms to the sides and up, keeping the knees bent, palms together. Exhaling, hands to the heart, diving forward, straightening the legs. Inhale, lifting the chest halfway. Exhale, step the right and left foot back. Take a pause here. Inhale. Exhale, chaturanga or down to the mat. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now let's inhale the right leg up to the sky, pressing the left heel off the mat as high as we can. 
Spread those fingers wide. Press the fingers into the floor. Squeeze the mat to protect the wrists. Left heel is off the floor as we press the chest towards the back of the mat. Right leg is active as we keep that right leg in the air. Exhale the left heel to the floor, opening the back of the left leg. Full, deep, rhythmic breath. Now we bend that right knee and we start to rotate the knee out in full circles. Try to find the full range of motion as you continue to press the chest back towards the back of the mat, opening through that right hip socket. And stay with the breath. Everything is guided by your breath. Now bring that knee up, bring the right foot to the left side and look under the left foot, under the left armpit to see the right foot. Keep pressing the chest back. As you look back to see the right foot, open the hips towards the side. Full breath. Now bend the left knee. Gently bring the right foot to the floor, flipping the dog over, both legs straight. Right arm is parallel to the floor. Fingers reaching away from the top of the head as we look up to the fingertips. Squeezing the mat with the left fingers to protect the wrists. Full breath. The right palm faces the floor and feel that stretch as you reach through the right fingertips. Right, let's take a deep inhale together and exhale, downward facing dog. Inhaling the left leg up to the sky, pressing the right heel off the floor as high as you can. Right leg pressing up, left leg is active, pointing through the toes as you press the chest towards the back of the mat. Let's keep that left leg in the air as we exhale the right heel down to the mat. Full breath as we press the chest towards the back of the mat. Now we bend that left knee and start to rotate the knee out in full circles as you press the chest towards the back of the mat. Find that full range of motion in the left hip socket. Deep breath. Good, now we bring that left foot over to the right side and look under the right armpit to spot the left foot. Try to twist the chest open to the side as you press the hips back, open the chest to the side. Now bending that right knee slightly, left foot gently sinks down to the floor, flipping the dog over, we'll straighten both legs and Left hand reaches away from the top of the head. The palm faces the floor. Press the hips as high as you can. Arm and hand reaching. Feel that stretch in the left side of the body as you squeeze the mat with the right fingers. Good. Take a deep inhale. Exhaling down dog. Turning the gaze forward, inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, inhale. Step or jump forward to the seat. Cross the ankles, place the hands at the side of the body. Now, we're going to do this a few times in this practice. You can either just press the butt off the floor, use the strength in the arms to lift the butt, or the next level is lift the feet, then press the butt and feet up off the floor, and 20 Bastrika, in and out through the nose. Good. Lean forward, hands to the top of the mat, step or jump back down to Chaturanga, elbows in. Inhale, upward facing dog. Pause for a moment, spread the fingers wide, shoulders back and down, lifting the chest and chin. Deep inhale, exhale, down dog. Turn the gaze forward, inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, inhale, step or jump forward. Feet hip width apart, lift the chest halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Bending the knees, lowering the hips deep. Inhaling the arms to the sides and up, palms together. Exhale, namaste. Now, moving into our next balancing pose. Let's bring the arms to the sides, first finger and thumb together. Exhale, bend the knees to 30 degrees. Let's keep that left leg bent at 30 degrees. We want to activate that leg as we inhale the right leg back. Bring the chest and back leg parallel to the floor. Keep the left knee bent, activating that leg. And we look straight down. The back of the neck is long as you focus on the breath. Arms are active. Try to reach away from the body as far as you can. Full breath. Good. 
as you inhale, rise up, right foot to the floor, arms up, palms together. Exhale, namaste. Inhale, arms to the sides, first finger and thumb together. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, left leg back. Bring the chest and back leg parallel to the floor. Top of the head floating away from the bottom of the spine as we look straight down, back to reach to the sides as far as you can. Full breath. Inhale, rise, left foot to the floor, arms up, palms together. Exhale, namaste. Inhale, fingertips sweep the floor, arms up, palms together. Exhale, hands to the heart, folding forward, straighten the legs. Inhale, lift the chest halfway. Exhale, Chaturanga, one exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog, pausing here. Squeeze the mat, shoulders back and down as we lift the chest and chin. Full breath. Take a deep breath in here. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Inhaling the right foot forward between the hands, sweeping the arms up. Coming into high warrior lunge, make great as you press the back heel back. Sinking the hips down, we take the front heel off the floor if that's available to you. Keep the eyes steady on one point, breath flowing. Stay here for another breath. Find the power in the breath. Good. Deep inhale. Reach up and back. Exhale. Step back down to Chaturanga. Inhaling to up dog. Exhaling. Now we're facing down. Inhale the left foot forward. Knee over the heel. Arms up. Back leg straight. Take the left as far as you can. Eyes steady yet soft. Full breath. Inhale, reach up and back. Exhale, step back down to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, you can come down and press back or just straight back to dog, downward facing dog. Now let's take the right hand to the outside of the, let's take the left hand to the outside of the right ankle. Press both heels to the floor and pull that chest open to the side. As you move the chest, towards the back of the mat and open to the side. Full breath. Right hand is active, squeezing the mat with the fingers to protect the wrist. Inhale the left hand to the top of the mat. Exhale, right hand to the outside of the left ankle. Use that leverage to twist the chest open to the side and keep pressing the hips back. Full breath. Good. Inhale, right hand to the top of the mat. Take a deep, relaxing breath here. Let go of any tension in through the nose, out through the mouth. Turn the gaze forward, inhale. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, step or jump forward, looking to the horizon, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees, lower the hips, arms to the sides and up, palms stay. Now let's move into the next balancing pose, bending the right. Let's do it to the left side first so you can see. You can take the left hand back and hold the outside of the left knee, or you can catch the outside of the left foot and straighten the leg. If it's too much to straighten the leg, just hold the knee. Turn to gaze to the back hand. Full breath. Exhale, release. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, diving forward. Inhale, lift the chest halfway. Exhale, step or jump back down to Chaturanga, elbows in. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bend the knees. Inhale, step or jump forward, lift the chest halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees, lower the hips. Inhale, the arms up, palms together. Exhale, namaste. 
Take the right arm back, lift the left knee, either hand to the outside of the left knee, you can stay here, or you can go deeper and clasp the outside of the right foot, straightening the right leg, turning to look to the back hand if that's available to you. Full breath. Good, inhale. And release. Next move, inhale the arms up overhead. Exhale, swan diving forward, arms to the sides and down, top of the head towards the mat. Inhale, lift the chest halfway. Exhale, step or jump back and pause here in the plank. Let's bring the right foot parallel to the floor, right leg parallel to the floor. And we'll give me five yogi push ups here. Inhale, exhale. As you inhale, lower down, and exhale, press up. One, inhale down, exhale, press up. Two, inhale down, exhale up. Keep that right leg parallel to the floor. Exhale up, four, inhale down, exhale up, five. Right foot down, left leg up. Take a deep breath in, slow release. Inhale down, exhale up, inhale down, Exhale up, last three. Inhale down, exhale up, just two more. Inhale down, exhale up, last one. Inhaling down, exhaling up. Both feet to the floor, deep inhale. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Very good. Inhale, step the right foot forward, sweep the arms up. Sink the back heel down. Back foot pressing into the mat, toes turned into 45 degrees as we take the hands behind the back, clasping the hands together. Keep the front knee over the heel. Inhale, lift the chest, spine long. Exhale, bring the nose to the big toe. Bring the hands forward. See how low you can go. Keep the outside of the back foot pressing into the floor. Full breath. Inhale, straighten the right leg, turn the right foot in, left foot out, turn the right toes in to 45 degrees. As you exhale, bend the left knee over the left heel. Inhale, lift the chest, spine long. Exhale, bring the nose to the big toe. Try to bring the hands forward. Press the palms of the hands together to open the shoulders more. See how low you can go as you focus on the breath. The chest. Exhale, straighten the legs, bring the hands forward. Let's find the balance in the feet, all four corners of each foot pressing evenly into the mat. Legs are active, kneecaps are lifting, thighs engaged. Relax the neck. Don't let the head touch the floor. We don't want to compress the neck. Stay with the breath, closing the eyes and finding the inner balance. Inhale, lift the chest, press the hands to the floor. Exhale, hands to the hips. Let's turn the toes out to 45 degrees. Inhale, the arms up, palms together. Exhale, sink the hips down, bringing the thighs parallel to the floor. If you need to spread the feet a little wider, that's okay. Don't let the knees go beyond the heels. Keep pressing the knees back. Eyes are steady, full breath. You can close the eyes. Find that inner stillness as the energy around us is moving. Inhale, rise. Exhale, arms to the sides and down. Inhale, arms to the sides and up. Exhale, sink the hips down. Bring the hands in front of the knees. And exhale, the hips back, spine parallel to the floor. Inhale the arms straight away from the top of the head, looking down, back of the neck long, spine parallel to the floor. If you can, take the heels off the floor. Stay with the breath. Good, inhale, 
rise up, straighten the legs, exhale, arms to the sides and down. Now, as you inhale, lean to the right, arms behind. We'll flow side to side, go deep into the bending of the knee, bring the arms behind, look behind. Opening the ankles, knees and hips, twisting in the spine and neck. Take your time. Feel that movement in the legs, flow with the breath. Close your eyes, find your inner balance. Look behind with the eyes closed, arms behind, twisting, opening the spine, hips, knees, and ankles. Full breath. Come all the way to the left side, place the hands on the floor. Take the right foot, pointing the toes up to the sky. You can keep the hands on the floor in front of the knees, or you can place the hands above the knees, pressing that left knee back. If you're more flexible, reach forward, catch the toes of the right foot and lean into the stretch. Wherever you are, close the eyes and find the breath. Good, inhale to the center, exhale to the other side. Left toes pointing up. Pulling the left foot back towards the face, the hands are remaining on the floor in front of the knees or just above the knees, pressing the right knee back. If you're feeling more flexible, lean forward. Grab the toes of the left foot and lean into the stretch as we close the eyes and connect to the breath. Slowing the breath down. Good. Inhale back to the center, outsides of the feet parallel, fingertips under the shoulders. Inhale, lift the chest halfway, exhale, hands to the hips. Inhale, rise with the breath, and exhale, step back to the top of the mat, hands to the heart. Coming right into the next balancing pose, we bend the left knee, take the left hand out to the side, and catch the inside, not the outside, catch the inside of the left ankle, Squeeze the knees together. Inhale the right arm up. As you exhale, kick the left foot back into the left hand. The more you kick, full breath. Coming into the dancer's pose. Right foot squaring down, rooting down. Release, arms up, exhaling arms to the sides and down. Right hand out to the side, bend the right knee, catch the inside of the ankle, squeeze the knees together. Inhale, left arm up, exhale, fold forward and kick that right foot back into the hand. Full breath, eyes steady yet soft. up. Exhale, bend the knees, fingertips sweep the floor. Inhale, arms to the sides and up, knees bent, palms together. Exhale, hands to the heart, diving forward. Inhale, looking to the horizon. Exhale, step or jump back down to Chaturanga, elbows in. Inhale, upward facing dog, pausing here. Spread the fingers wide, shoulders back and down, lifting the chest and chin, full breath. Take a deep breath in. Now we inhale back to the plank and come right down onto the elbows, clasping the hands together for elbow forearm plank. Now we're gonna work the core here. Bring the left knee forward and turn to look to the left knee. Feel that activation of the left side of the abdominal muscles. Opposite side, hold for a moment, look back. Shortening the right side, inhale back. Now we'll go side to side. One, two, we'll do 20. There's 10 more. Good. 
Good, come back. Hold for the last 10 seconds. Press the upper back to the sky, don't sink down. Everything's rising, legs straight, pressing the heels back. Full breath. Take a deep breath in and press the hands to the top of the mat. Coming back into down dog, we'll take a deep relaxing breath here, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Very good, now from here, we come back to the plank, we're gonna bring the right knee to the opposite ankle. Forward, shoulders over the wrist, stay in the plank, side to side. We'll do 20 here, three, four, five, Ten more. And last one. Pressing back to down dog, catching the breath here. Doing great. Strong practice today. Stay with the breath. Inhale back to plank. Exhale down to the mat. Bring the arms forward. Be hip with the part. Inhale, raise the left arm and right leg as high as you can. Full breath. Let's close the eyes and look within as we connect to the breath. Exhale down, opposite side. Inhale the right arm and left leg up as high as you can. Stay with the breath. Follow each exhalation all the way to the end, then you get a deep inhale. Exhale down, bring the hands behind the back, clasp the hands together. Inhale, lift. Try to come up as high as you can, everything rising. Each time you inhale, try to float up a little higher. Press the palms together, opening the shoulders. One more inhale, and exhale, release. Forehead to the back of the hands, deep relaxing breath. Let go of any tension in the body. <sighs> we're bring the arms back. The thumbs point to the sky. We want to catch the inside of the ankle. So the thumbs stay pointing to the sky as you catch the inside of the ankles, not the outside. Squeeze the knees closer together. Keep the knees hip-width apart. Curl the toes towards the knees. And inhale, pressing back with the feet, coming into the bow. Let the neck be relaxed, full breath. Keep coming up a little higher with each inhalation. Challenge yourself, we're almost there. Inhale deep. Exhale, release. Forehead to the back of the hands. Take a deep, relaxing breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. <sighs> You're doing great. Strong. Now, let's bring the feet together, knees together, hands under the shoulders. Inhale. Exhale, rising up into the tabletop. Toes under the feet. Pressing back to downward facing dog. Let's keep this tempo going. We're going to get the heart rate up. Work with the lungs a bit. Step the right foot forward to the outside of the right hand. And we're gonna switch quickly for 20 rounds. Just 10 more. And coming on back to downward facing dog. You're doing great, stay with the breath. You can take a deep, relaxing breath if you need to. You should feel a little heat in the body by now. Let's turn that gaze forward. Inhale. Exhale. Bend the knees. Now inhale. Step or excuse me. Jump forward. Cross the legs. Come to the seat. Let's bring the hands next to the hip. Remember this pose. You can either just press the hips off, or lift the feet and press the hips and feet off 
20 Bastrika, in and out, fast. Good, release, hands forward, step or jump back to Chaturanga. Exhale down, inhale, hold, squeeze the mat, shoulders back and down, lift. Deep inhale here, exhale, downward facing dog. Turn the gaze forward, inhale, exhale, bend the knees, inhale, step or jump forward, looking to the horizon, flat back, exhale, forward fold. Let's take a deep, relaxing breath here. One more time, catch the breath. Feet hip width apart, inhale, the arms up, hips sinking back down into the chair. Try to bring those thighs parallel to the floor, weight in the heels and the buttocks, toes relax. Full breath. Let's inhale the hands to the heart. Now keep that right elbow off the knee, but twist to the left. Use the core muscles to keep that elbow off the thigh. Left elbow points to the sky, we can look up. Full breath, each time you exhale, pull the navel into the spine. Going great. Inhale to the other side. Keep that left elbow off the leg. Good, inhale forward, center. Exhale into the forward fold. We'll take a deep, relaxing breath here in through the nose, out through the mouth. Good, one more time. Bend the knees, lower the hips, chin to the chest. Inhale the arms up to the sides and overhead, palms together. Exhaling hands to the heart. Feet hip width apart as we inhale the arms forward in front of the shoulders. Press the heels off the floor. Keep the heels off the mat as you exhale and bend the knees. And bring the thighs parallel to the floor. Shoulders down away from the ears. Full breath. Inhale, rise, arms up. Exhale, diving forward. Hands to the floor next to the feet. Inhale, lift the chest halfway, flat back. Exhale, step or jump back, jump back to the plank, pause here. Inhale, coming into the side plank on the right hand. You can either keep both feet on the floor, stack the left on top of the right. You can bring the right knee down if you need to modify the posture. Let's bring that left knee up. Press those hips as high as you can. And lift the knee as high as you can. Full breath. Exhale down into the plank, opposite side, left hand down. Remember you can keep the knee on the floor, both feet on the floor, or you can bring the right knee up. Keep pressing those hips up as high as you can. Full breath. Next exhale, come back to the plank, inhale, and exhale down to forearm plank. You're doing great. Keep pressing that upper back to the sky. Don't sink down, press everything up. Legs are straight, pressing the heels back, looking straight down. Full breath. Let's go back to the crunches, the side crunches. Left knee to left elbow, look back, shorten the left side, then come back. Right knee to right elbow, look back to see the knee, shorten the right side, 20 times. Ten more. Good, come back to the plank. And exhale down, forehead to the back of the 
hands. Deep relaxing breath. Let everything relax as you exhale. Let's bring the feet hip width apart. Place the hands under the shoulders. Inhale up into the cobra, stretching the core. Bring the knees off the floor into upward facing dog. Or you can keep the knees on the floor. Feel that nice stretch as you pull the shoulders back and down, lifting the chest and chin. Now lean over, looking over the right shoulder, sink the left hip down, stretch the left side at the front of the body, looking back to the right heel. Opposite side, look back to the left heel. Feel that nice stretch in the ab right side of the abdomen. Inhale back, exhale down dog. Inhale, step the right foot forward between the hands, sweep the arms up, clasp the hands together, press the hands up and back. Make sure the front knee is over the heel and exhale the back foot down. Back knee down, top of the back foot flat. Press the arms up and back, inhale up, exhale, slide the hips forward. Feel that nice stretch in the left psoas muscle. Full breath. As you exhale, bring the hands down inside the right foot. Line up the heel of the hands with the heel of the foot. Floor and rotate that right knee out in small circles to release the right hip and the right hip socket. Moving with awareness as you focus on your breath. The entire practice is a moving meditation with the focus on the breath, keeping the mind present and listening to the sound of the breath to guide the mind. Come back to the center, sink the hips down, lift the chest, keep the back knee off the floor for another few breaths. Feel that stretch in the left psoas here in the front of the hip. Now you can stay here. As we all bring the knee to the floor, you can stay with the chest lifting if that's the edge of your flexibility. Or to go deeper, we slide down to the forearms. Good. Let's slow the practice down now. Finding the breath, closing the eyes. Now we let the right knee slide out to the right and we come onto the outer edge of the right foot. Right knee falls out, press the hand against the knee and lift the chest open to the ceiling looking up. Keep sliding those hips forward and down. Feel that nice stretch in the hips, the psoas, and a twist in the spine as we open the chest to the sky looking up. Full breath. Now let's come back to the center. Walk the hands into the body. Take the right hand to the outside of the right leg and step the right foot back in front of the right hip. Slide the hips back until the back thigh is perpendicular to the floor. Fingertips either to the side of the ankle or the knee. Right foot is active, pulling back towards the face. Inhale, wave up through the spine, lift the chest and chin. Exhale, wave through the spine, reaching towards the foot with the chin. Inhale, wave up through the spine, lift the chest and chin. Exhale, wave through the spine, chin towards the foot. One more time. Inhale, wave up. And exhale, wave forward. Now let's bring the forearms parallel. Elbows pointing back, shoulders down away from the ears. Close the eyes and breathe deep into the leg. Use the breath to release any tension from the back of the right leg. Inhale, slide forward, front foot flat. Step that right foot to the outside edge of the mat. Left fingertips under the left shoulder as we bend the left knee and bring the heel to the buttocks. Bring the right arm up and over and catch the foot, the left foot. As you pull that left heel into the buttocks, sliding the hips forward. 
Come forward so that you're on the thigh muscle rather than the kneecap. So come all the way forward, hips sliding forward, and twist the chest, open to the ceiling, looking up. Full breath. Slowing down now, we can close the eyes. Going into a more meditative state as we connect to the breath. Inhale the right arm up to the sky, and exhale, step back to downward facing dog. You can walk the heels out, any movements you like here to release, perhaps a deep relaxing breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Inhale the left leg up to the sky, and exhale, step the left foot to the outside, excuse me, the inside of the left hand. Let's sweep those arms up. Finding the balance here. Then keeping that knee over the heel, the front knee over the front heel. Let's sink the back knee down, top of the back foot flat. Clasping the hands together, pressing the arms up and back as we sink the hips forward and down. Reach the chest and chin. Feel that nice stretch in the right psoas muscle. Deep inhale together, exhale the hands down inside of the left foot, and step the left foot to the outside edge of the mat, heel of the hands in line with the heel of the foot. Taking the back knee off the floor and rotating the left knee out in gentle circles with awareness, feeling the opening of the hip and the hip socket. Full breath. Come back to the center, lift the chest and chin, keep the back knee off the floor for another moment, activate the muscles before we release them. Now let's exhale and sink that back knee down, back foot flat. You can stay here lifting the chest and chin, feeling the stretch there, or if you want to deepen, slide down to the forearms. Let's close the eyes and connect to that deep breath, following the exhalation to the end. Bring the left hand to the inside of the left knee. Let the left foot slide out to the outer edge of the left foot. Press into the left knee and lift the chest to the ceiling, looking up. Closing the eyes, breathing deep into the body. Use the breath to expand the areas of tension in the body. As you exhale, let everything release. Full breath. Inhale, walk the hands to the body, lift the chest, and the left hand to the outside of the left foot, and step the left foot back to the center in front of the left hip. Now slide the hips back until the back thigh is perpendicular to the floor. Left foot is active, pull the left toes towards the face. The fingertips are on either side of the ankle or either side of the knee. Three waves with the spine. Inhale, wave the spine up, lift the chest and chin. Exhale, bring the chest and chin towards the foot. Two more times. Inhale, roll the spine up. Exhale, roll the spine forward. Last one. Inhale, rolling up. Exhale, extending forward and staying here. Forearms are parallel, elbows pointing back. Shoulders away from the ears. Close the eyes and breathe deep into the back of the left leg. Now slide forward, front foot flat. Step that left foot to the outside edge of the mat. Bring the right fingertips under the right shoulder. Bending the right knee, bring the right heel towards the buttocks. Left arm inhaling up and exhaling back, catching the foot or ankle of the right leg. Pull that heel towards the buttocks. 
Slide the hips forward and down and twist the chest open to the ceiling looking up, closing the eyes. Deep breath into the body. Keep pulling the heel towards the buttocks, stretching the right thigh. Left arm up, exhale, downward facing dog. Good, you can walk the heels out, take a deep relaxing breath if you like, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Let's go into a deep release of the hips as we exhale the left knee straight down to the center of the mat, touching the floor, sliding the left foot to the outside edge, the right edge of the mat. Bring the right knee down to land behind the left on the mat. And bring the right foot to the left edge of the mat. Now, depending on your flexibility, you may need to sit on a cushion. Come back slowly to sit on the buttocks. If it feels too intense, you can sit on a cushion or you can release the top leg a bit. You'll still get a nice stretch in the back of the left leg. If you want to go deeper, stack the left knee on top of the right. Clasping the hands together. We're going to create a little bit of tension in the left hip so that we can then release it even more. Pull the hands into the chest as you push the knee into the hands. Feel that tension in the left hip as you breathe deep. Again, pull the hands to the chest as you push the knee into the hands, creating tension in the left hip. Activate the biceps, strong arms, full, deep, rhythmic breath. Take a deep inhale. You can stay here and relax the hands, the fingertips either side of the hips if this is as deep as you want to go. Otherwise, we inhale, lift the chest and chin, spine long as you exhale forward, hanging the chin over the top knee, relaxing the hands and forearms to the mat. If this is too deep for you, do one of the modifications, releasing the front knee, top knee a little bit, still get the good stretch. Wherever you are, let's find the stillness and breathe into any tension in the body. Closing the eyes, beginning to find that moment of stillness, the pause at the end of every breath. Stabilizing the mind in the stillness at the end of each breath. stretch to release the hips and the lower back. We yeah, have low back pain. This is one that can really help take away some of that stiffness in the lower back. Let's inhale, release the pose. Exhale, hands to the top of the mat. Inhale, down dog. Take a few steps, walking the heels out, releasing any tension. Deep, relaxing breath if you need, in through the nose, out through the mouth. <sighs> Let's go to the other side, sink the right knee down to the mat. Slide the right foot to the left edge of the mat. Bring the left knee down behind the right on the mat. And slide the left foot to the right edge of the mat. Once again, be aware of your flexibility. You may need to sit on a cushion or release the top knee a bit so it's not so intense. If you want to go deeper, we stack the top knee on, on the left, the bottom knee. Let's clasp the hands together, same as before. Press the knee into the hands, pull the hands into the chest, and create that tension in the right hip as you activate the biceps. Make the biceps strong, full breath. Keep pressing the knee into the hands as you pull the hands into the knee. Feel that tension in the right hip. We create the tension so we can then release even deeper. Full breath. Right, now you can stay here with the fingertips on either side of the hips. If you want to go deeper, we inhale, lift the chest and chin, spine long. When exhale, reach forward, bringing the chin over the top knee, relaxing the forearms to the floor. Wherever you are, find the stillness in the body. 
Close the eyes and connect to the breath. Finding a pause at the end of each breath before the next breath begins. Inhale to release, exhale hands to the top of the mat, inhale back, downward facing dog, walking the heels out, moving the hips, whatever feels good to you, maybe a deep relaxing breath if you like. Let's inhale to the plank, and exhale, sink the hips down, top of the feet flat, you can stay here in Cobra, stretching through the lower back, lifting the chest and chin, arching the spine, or you can take the knees off the floor into upward facing dog. Pull those shoulders back and down as you lift the chest and chin. Don't drop the head back and crunch the neck. Keep the neck long by lifting the chin to the sky. Squeezing the mat with the fingertips. Always squeeze the mat with the fingers when you put weight on the hands. This activates the muscles in the wrists. Full breath. Take a deep inhale here, and exhale, we'll come right down to the mat, forehead to the back of the hands for our last postures here. Let's take a nice, deep, relaxing breath. <sighs> now I'll release the shoulders after the strong practice, bring the left hand in line with the top of the left head. Make sure the hand is in line with the head, not the shoulder. Place the right hand under the right shoulder, keeping the left shoulder on the floor. We'll gently press into the right hand and roll into the left shoulder. Find the edge of your flexibility here. You can stay here, or if you'd like to go deeper into the stretch, bend the knees, feet on the floor, knees to the sky. Deeper still, you can bring the right hand back to catch the left hand. If that feels like it's too much, just stay at the edge of the flexibility today. Breathe deep into the shoulder. Find the stillness at the end of each breath to stabilize the mind. Inhale, roll back onto the mat, onto the belly. Keep the left hand where it is and place the forehead on the back of the right hand. For a nice, deep, relaxing breath, let everything go. <sighs> Feel the effects in the left shoulder and arm. Keeping the mind in the body, more feeling, less thinking. Let's change to the other side. Right hand in line with the top of the head. Keep the right shoulder on the floor, left hand under the left shoulder, pressing into the left hand, rolling over into the right shoulder. You can stay here or go deeper by bending the knees, placing the feet on the floor, knees pointing to the sky. Deeper still, take the left hand up and back to catch the right fingers. Wherever you are, let's close the eyes and follow the breath to the end. Breathe deep into the shoulder. Use the breath to take you deeper into the postures.
slowly release. As you exhale, roll back onto the mat, onto the belly. Keep the right arm where it is. Place the forehead on the back of the left hand and let's take a deep relaxing breath. Let it all go. <sighs> Feel what's happening in the body, the energy. Feel and become aware of your emotional and mental state, observing yourself from within. Now you can continue to practice with me for the pranayama breathing practice, or you can lay down on your back for a deep, final relaxation. If you're coming with me into the pranayama practice, let's bring the knees together, feet together, hands under the shoulders, and inhale, press up into the tabletop, and we'll come into the seat. 